Peter Parker. Amazing. Hey. You're Peter Parker. Of course. I guess there's just some things the PS5 can't do. But regardless, welcome back true believers and all you spectacular Spidey fans to another very interesting Marvel Spider-Man related video. So in case you potentially missed this massive bombshell of a news drop coming directly from Insomniac Games, they did recently confirm that on December 10th, they will be including both of the brand new suits that we do see within Spider-Man No Way Home of the integrated suit as well as the black and gold suit and will in fact be adding them into Marvel Spider-Man remastered exclusively on PlayStation 5 for absolutely free. However, the pretty huge downside of this update is the fact that these two suits from Spider-Man No Way Home are only going to be featured in the remastered version of Marvel's Spider-Man and not added onto the base Marvel Spider-Man experience on PlayStation 4. Which, to be blunt, is rather shocking considering that every other free suit update that has been featured for Marvel's Spider-Man have always been incorporated as free DLC updates within the base Spider-Man PS4 game. And just to remind you as to which particular suits those included, this mainly ranges from the two major Fantastic Four costumes of the Bombastic Bagman and Future Foundation, the two primary outfits from the previous MCU Spider-Man film of Far From Home with the upgraded suit as well as the stealth suit, the obviously iconic Tobey Maguire Spider-Man costume, also known as the web suit, and most recently within this lineup of free costumes, we obviously got the three major outfits which were a part of Marvel's Spider-Man Spider-Man Remastered at first, which were then added into Spider-Man PS4 close to Thanksgiving of last year. And for those outfits, they directly pertain to the Arachnid Rider suit, an Armored Advanced suit, as well as the rather iconic Amazing Spider-Man 1 suit. And now with all the insane amount of hype surrounding No Way Home at this point, it was pretty much an inevitability that Insomniac were going to incorporate both of the No Way Home suits within Spider-Man PS4 and Marvel Spider-Man Remastered one way or another. But the shocker here this time around with this brand new suit update is that it's only going to be added into the remastered version of the game. Even though the majority of people who have played Marvel's Spider-Man already are primarily PlayStation 4 owners and sadly have not been able to acquire a PlayStation 5 yet due to the massive amount of shortage issues. Hell, even the base PlayStation 4 version of Marvel's Spider-Man and not the PS5 remaster has already gone on record of being the highest selling superhero game of all time. And even though I am so someone who does own a PlayStation 5 and will be able to get my hands on these suits by the time they release tomorrow, I still wasn't able to even get my hands on a console for quite some time, so I do extremely sympathize with all the PS4 owners who really want to play in these suits but won't be able to because they're not going to be included within the game. And for anyone wondering exactly why Insomniac chose to do this, they did further analyze their decision on Twitter by stating, since its 2018 release, we've updated Marvel Spider-Man on PlayStation 4 19 times, adding more suits and features than originally planned. Each patch has been more technically complex, especially with maintaining PS4 HDD streaming performance. To ensure fans continue enjoying Marvel's Spider-Man on PlayStation 4 at its optimal performance, we've made the difficult decision to release these new suits for Marvel Spider-Man Remastered on PlayStation 5, where our PS5 engine allows us to update the game without jeopardizing player experience. So essentially, if Insomniac were to include the No Way Home suits within Spider-Man PS4, it would pretty much result into a disruption of how the game performs on base PS4 consoles. And to an extent, I do understand what they're talking about considering that Insomniac doesn't want to tweak anymore with the previous iteration of Marvel Spider-Man on the quote-unquote last generation console of the PS4. Four, and knowing that all of their upcoming properties like Marvel's Spider-Man 2, Marvel's Wolverine, and even that unknown multiplayer game they're working on are going to be PlayStation 5 exclusives, it does make sense that they want to prioritize the next-gen iteration of the current Marvel's Spider-Man experience with the remaster. But on the flip side, it's simply adding two cosmetics within the base game that already has a total of over 40 suits. So if you are a major Spidey fan who is immensely hyped for No Way Home, this is surely going to be a bummer for you if you you do not own a PlayStation 5 console. At least you do have all the previous MCU suits as well as the Amazing Spider-Man 1 suit and the Raimi suit to swing around in within the base Spider-Man PS4 game. And who knows, because even though Insomniac are saying that they will not be including the No Way Home suits within
in Spider-Man PS4 as of right now, there's always the chance that they could incorporate the No Way Home suits within Spider-Man PS4 if the fan demand is high enough. But in the end, only time will tell. And with all that said, everyone, that's the video that I have for you today, and please let me know all your thoughts in the comments section down below. What do you think about the No Way Home costumes of the integrated suit and the black and gold suit only arriving on Marvel's Spider-Man Remastered on PlayStation 5 and not coming to Marvel's Spider-Man on the PlayStation 4? For me personally, the advanced suit is my all-time favorite Spider-Man costume ever made, so I'm pretty much only going to wear these two No Way Home suits for a gameplay footage showcase, but likely not wear them as much after the fact. And as a bit of a side note, I do have a relatively good feeling that Insomniac Games are also planning to include the Amazing Spider-Man 2 suit within Marvel Spider-Man Remastered only after No Way Home releases in theaters. Considering that Sony doesn't want to spoil Andrew Garfield's involvement within the film until the movie releases, and based on any of the leaks that you've probably already seen for the film, it's pretty clear that he is going to be wearing the Amazing Spider-Man 2 suit within the movie instead of the Amazing Spider-Man 1 attire. And if that ends up happening, I definitely think that we could expect a third quote-unquote No Way Home suit to arrive within the game by the end of the year. Still, make sure to keep your fingers crossed for any and all possibilities. But until next time, true believers, thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you did enjoy and for more Marvel Spider-Man videos like these down the line. And without further ado, peace out. <laughs>